today's the big day. I'm going to head to New York City in about um, an hour. We're here, but we can't get there. This light is so long. You think they're gonna let you record me getting my blood taken? We could try. We went to the hospital and they said it was going to be another three hours before they could even bring me up to my room. So my mom and I were walking the, the streets of New York and we got tuna sandwiches and cookies. Bye! Well, it's now 6 o'clock and we're still waiting in the waiting room. We've been here since 2.30. Awesome. What are you doing? Pulling out paperwork. Looks like fun. They want to know my battle pattern. <laughs> Got a usual pattern. Regular. Are you done yet? Done. Tie me. Now what are you doing? You getting ready for your study? It's very stylish. What's going on over there? That's the color you're gonna dye your hair? Oh god, I don't even <laughs> wanna see. I'm gonna have no hair after this. <laughs> It'll be fine. Cold. Couple more to go. A couple. She did a lot already. Seven. At least seven. Stop. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, come on before this test is over. Hi guys. So I just got finished getting hooked up to all this glory. If you will, uh, the wires are connected over here. Mm -hmm. My hair's over here. Um, I had like a really crazy roommate, so they just moved her. So it's nice and quiet now. So it's like, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock at night. So I'm gonna head to bed now. Um, I'm exhausted. You need to hold it? No. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. sleep much last night. I think I fell asleep at like 12. And I woke up at like 5. And since 5 o'clock in the morning, I've been poked and prodded. Um, I got my blood drawn. Um, I got a shot in my stomach for blood thinner, even though it's probably not necessary because I'm walking and moving. And that shit hurt like a bitch. And um, yeah, I'm not a happy camper. Um, I barely ate anything for breakfast because it sucked. And yeah, I'm just not excited about this whole thing. But I'm gonna put in my contacts and try to put on some makeup maybe to make me feel better. I'm trying to look a little bit better. So that was the before, 
and this is the after. Hospital chic. This is where I'm getting recorded, my brainwaves, and that's me filming me with them filming me filming me. If that's how you say it. And then the best part is the view out my window. It's amazing. This is the bag I have to carry. And then this is my wire. It's like 20 feet long. Then it's connected to this machine. So I can't even go far. So running the study. So I'm like a dog on a leash basically. Okay, so it's like what time is it? Two o'clock. I have lunch at like twelve thirty. Tried to take a nap, that didn't happen. It's like loud as hell here. But I'm just reading a book right now. So the doctors came in <clears throat> and they checked my EEG so far and they said that everything looks normal so far. So they think they're going to take me off of will have me not take my night medicine, the anti-seizure medicine, and see if they could make a seizure happen so they could catch it on film. So, we'll see um, what they say. Like, if I, because I'm supposed to take my pill at 9. So, we'll see if I take it at 9. Alright, bye. My roommate just left. Boo, because she was so nice and quiet. But... So I'm getting somebody else. I don't know who it's gonna be. Hopefully not somebody loud. But it's like six o'clock now, just waiting for dinner. I haven't slept because this place is so loud, but very uncomfortable. This wolf this thing's like tight. And it just sucks. I can't fall asleep. But um, I don't know. I'll show you what I'm having for dinner, even though it's probably not going to look that great, but talk to you later. Hey guys, so I just got my dinner. I got mac and cheese, broccoli, green tea, it's brewing, and grapes and cheese, and I'm going to pig out. Waiting for my elevator to go home. just wanted to film this update after I um, had left the hospital so I didn't film much on Wednesday um, the last day I was there because it was like so everything happened so quickly and I was like super overwhelmed like the doctors were coming in and everything just happened so quickly that day so so let's just go back to Tuesday night and what happened so on Tuesday night, um, I was told by the doctors that they didn't want me to take my um, anti-seizure medication. So I didn't take my pill, and then I, t I think it was like I had dinner, um, you know, and I was just anxious, so I stayed up pretty late. Plus, on that floor that I was on, it was just really crazy. I mean, some of the people on that floor were just... Um, not all there and it was making me more anxious so I think by the time I fell asleep it was around 12 30 I had really hard time falling asleep and then I woke up at around 2 a.m. and I had those shaky feelings that um, I was explaining to them so I you know I was happy that it happened so I had pushed the button they told me to push this button so it would make a marker in the um, little scan thing so they could review it and see exactly what was happening. Woke up again at 7 and then at 7 a.m. I was like I give up trying to sleep you know even the sleep I got wasn't even really good sleep I was 
exhausted. So, you know, in a way I'm happy that that happened, but I was just so angry that I didn't get sleep and upset and tired and just all these emotions. I was just so emotional. And I just wanted to go home. And then the doctors came in and it was a doctor and it was like six students. So it was like seven people in my room. I felt totally overwhelmed. And I was so excited to hear what he had to say. So he said on um, the little scan thing, they saw no seizure activity. And then I was just so fed up. I just started to cry. And he's like, well, here are your options. He's like, you can stay on your Keppra, which is, was the seizure from medication I was on, or you can change to this other medicine. So with Keppra, it gives you and it can give you anxiety. It doesn't give everybody anxiety, but it can. Plus, I already have anxiety from losing my sister, then being diagnosed, and family things. You know, I have very bad anxiety, and I never had it before. So he thinks that me being on the Keppra and already having anxiety, it was kind of like a snowball effect of me being super anxious and having panic attacks when you know I should just have a little bit of anxiety. So he thought the best thing was to put me on a different anti-seizure medication. And then he also thinks that I should be on a um, anti-anxiety medicine just once a day at night before I go to bed to help me sleep through the night. Then right away my sister and my mom were there to pick me up. So I was like so excited running out of there, like literally running out of that place. I, you know, the whole experience of having the test was not great. Um, the place I was in was not great. I just thought it would be, I, you know, I thought it would be different. I expected something different, but I'm happy the test is over. I'm happy and I'm on a different medication. I'm positive about it and I just want to say thank you to you guys, who everyone who texted me, called me, FaceTimed me while I was in the hospital, wrote me on Instagram, tweeted me. Um, it's just all your guys' support is just so great and um, it made me feel better when I was upset in the hospital. I just want to say thank you so much to everybody um, helping me through this journey and um, I'll keep you guys posted. So thank you. Bye guys.